Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hey everyone, here we have uh, Hands-On Experience 15. Here we have a case, as you can see on the PZAX, Apical 4 and Color Doppler. And based on those three, the Echotech do continues for the Aorta and it get this uh, spectral Doppler. Where is aortic valve Doppler? Which of this envelope belong to the aorta? Second, uh, do we measure here? Third, what is this envelope? Four, for getting correct, if it's not correct one, for the, uh, getting envelope for, for aortic valve, uh, just in case if you have we want to make sure there is any stenosis or not what maneuver we have to do how we can get correct uh, aorta doppler on this case or uh, similar cases like this here we have another case as you can see on the short axis this view first of all if you can uh, this view uh, if you can say what uh, window is this and what view and what window here uh, apical 5 here PZAX or short axis and here is Doppler on the as you can see for the aorta it seems first of all patient has two significant problem or two important finding what those are second this Doppler does belong to the aorta or not uh, third for uh, evaluating the those two uh, abnormal finding on this case what exactly we have to do what maneuver and extra study we have to do on this case and finally what is the best way for getting gradient of the aortic valve in this such cases here we have a uh, Doppler on the mitral valve and you can, have, you can see the EKG and take get it this one for the mitral valve in flow E and A. Where is correct measurement for E and A on this case? Do we measure both of them or not? And where is the slow uh, deceleration time for the E? And for making more accurate and correct, what should we do get uh, this study better done better here we have uh, plaques and mode the uh, take the, this view and get cursor this way and uh, give us this m mode first of all does it this does it is correct or not second can we measure those uh, walls thickness septum posterior wall on this M mode it, and does it be uh, will it be accurate and correct or not and what is the problem with that generally what is the best way to get correct if it's not correct what is the best way we get correct M mode for left ventricle and you can see assuming this take did for the IVS and left ventricle not for mitral valve as you can see here they pass through this region generally what is the rule on this case do you do do you acquire such image or not at all if not for fixing what should you do here we have this case pay, uh, the tech uh, got it plaques and based on these plaques as you can see pay, uh, take zoom on this area rvot or almost RVOT, right ventricle, and measure this way. Is that correct or not? What is the correct way? Here we have apical 4, you get it in the ostolic. Now we are going to measure dimensions of the right ventricle. Which of the, those two techniques is correct for measurement? This green one, sorry, this green one, or yellow one? Now let's go for the explanation. 